welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Jocelyn and I make videos about fashion beauty and lifestyle today we have one of your favorite videos we have a save and explore video where we're gonna be listing several designer items and I'm going to be providing you similar items for way less this first item that we're gonna decide if we save or splurge is the dress that I'm wearing right now. Obviously, I have the save version, but I'm talking about this dress. And I have it here, it's from the brand Eterne. And it's a long sleeve turtleneck maxi dress. They have different colors, chocolate, black, ivory, kind of like schemes type of clothing but this one is more expensive more elevated as you can see it's a maxi dress with long sleeves that is hugging your body and obviously it has the turtleneck it has a very stretchy material and this one retails for 265 dollars the similar item is the one that I am wearing. I have the black color and I have the tan color as well. I bought these ones at Amazon. And yes, it's not wool, it's not, you know, uh, natural fabric, it's synthetic, but I can tell you that this synthetic fabric is very soft and it doesn't make you sweat. Let me tell you that I wore this dress several times in winter season and I was wearing leggings underneath or um, tights underneath, a coat, several layers because winter was super cold here in San Diego, I know, and not in comparison to Paris or New York, but it was very cold for us and I was layering up as much as I could. <laughs> I was wearing this dress because it's covered me from neck to toe pretty much and it was one of my favorites because I felt very warm and I like that. This one has this very soft stretchy material. As I told you, it looks like the skims type of material that is very buttery soft and super stretchy and is hugging your body. The one that I am wearing is a size medium, I size up, but I feel that my size is small because it's a little bit loose here and there. I highly recommend that you wear any of those dresses with a chain wear. And I'm just gonna link in the description box below my favorite chain wear that is from Amazon and is less than $25. Why chain wear? Well, despite if you have the most beautiful body because you are wearing underwear that makes you a little bit of rolls of skin it doesn't look smooth it doesn't look good so shade wear is highly recommended when you are wearing a dress that is hugging your body so everything is going to smooth out you're not gonna be showing the belly bottom <laughs> sometimes when the dress is too tight you're showing the belly button it doesn't look a very aesthetic and pleasing <laughs> anyway shape where it's highly recommended and i'm going to link my favorite ones in the description box below next i do have cashmere sweaters and i have the designer one here and i have the similar one here and as you can see they are almost the same <laughs> almost the same this one is from Reformation and it's a cashmere sweater that I bought a couple years ago. Super soft, it's oversized and it was one of my favorite sweaters. I'm saying was because now I have another favorite sweater. Let me tell you that I invest almost $200 on this cashmere sweater from Reformation. This sweater is a size small and I am happy with it, like it looks Pretty much a new I only had a wash twice I wash it by hand and I let it dry on a towel air dry because uh, obviously you cannot <laughs> put your cashmere shirts inside of the dryer otherwise they shrink <laughs> yeah so that's the situation I'm very pleased with this sweater until I had a collaboration with a Quince and I saw this sweater and when I received it, I was like, this looks almost the same as the Reformation. And when you put them side by side, yes, there's some differences, but 
they're pretty much the same. They have the same vibe. This one is almost $200. The Quince one is cashmere as well, super soft to the touch, and is only $50. I believe it's $49.90. $50 for a cashmere sweater that is pretty much the same quality as the Reformation. I will say that is even better. I like this one better because the Reformation, despite that I am very happy with it, is a size small and is oversized, as you can see, and it doesn't have a hem. It has a raw hem and the quince does not it has this rib detail here at the hem and it's not oversized because this one is size medium instead in fact i size up because i read the the uh the feedback no the feedback no the reviews and they say that is a true to size so in my thinking that i wanted to have the same kind of you know sweater as the reformation i size up this one is size medium and it's not even close to you know how loose the reformation is i think the reformation on the queens it will be like a large just to compare uh you know side by side but this one is medium it has a uh, regular size the reformation is size small and is oversized both of the sweaters are amazing but i think that i prefer the similar one for 50 dollars you get pretty much the same quality next i'm going to talk about bomber jackets obviously they don't have the same color but the idea is that is a bomber crop jacket that you can wear with pretty much anything okay you can find the black color on this on this style and you can find the tan color or the ivory color on this style okay bear with me this one is from Aritzia I bought it on sale and I'm very pleased with it every time that I wear this bomber jacket I receive tons of compliments at work the girls at work are asking me where did I get my jacket and I mean I feel good every time that they ask me uh, about my jacket so this one is pretty good it's from Aritzia and it cost me almost $120 on a sale so this is it it has a wonderful quality I love Aritzia it's one of my favorite brands after Sara Fiasco I found my replacement on Aritzia and Mango but I prefer Aritzia over mango aritzia is just another level their quality of their pieces is so good and it's 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 an investment but you know that you're gonna be receiving good quality pieces okay so this one is from aritzia it has two front pockets it has the snap bottoms here at the front very very pleased with this one i will continue wearing this but <laughs> I recently made a video about H&M, H&M try on haul, H&M come shopping with me and I talk about this bomber jacket that is exquisite guys, it's so good. I, I found these beautiful bomber jackets guys, really well made, the price is just $57.99, look at this beautiful color. We have lining here. This is not bottoms, it's a closure. Oh, this uh, shoulder pads. Wow, this is so good. I still don't wear it because I still don't uh, think about enough with where I can wear it, but I know that I'm gonna be wearing it pretty soon. The quality is amazing it has these shoulder pads and it has exactly the same snap bottoms and is on the short side same thing as the Aritzia one okay the Aritzia one has this hem here uh, 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 here at the at the end of the of the jacket and this one does not the H&M does not which is good still the quality is just amazing the one that i got is the size extra small and the price is just 58 dollars 
so so good guys i'm so so pleased with this one looking forward to wear that but here you go you have the aritzia one that is the designer one and you have the h m and that is the similar one both of them the quality is kind of the same but this one is less money than this one i prefer both of them sometimes uh yeah <laughs> i prefer to invest some money just to have uh, good high quality pieces however if i can spend less and the quality is almost the same score right speaking about h&m as part of one of my videos i saw the similar uh, sunglasses as the Celine. I bought these Celine sunglasses at Paris and it was one of my souvenirs that I bought at the Celine store. Love them. I love the shape of the sunglasses. They're very, very um, elevated, obviously. They're Celine, so of course that they, they look very, very good. I apologize, they're a little bit dirty, but I just want to give you a close-up. As you can see, they have these three dots of metal, which is like something that selling a did. Ah, I think it's okay. When I went to H&M, I saw the similar sunglasses as the Celine ones. And I was like, no way. And they're under $15 one five guys under fifteen dollars you can get similar glasses as the selling ones i pay for these ones almost five hundred dollars <laughs> including the tax the good news is that they gave me my bat tax return type of situation and that's fine but if you want designer sunglasses sometimes they can get up to the 500s, 600s, right? And you can get the similar ones for less than $20. H&M has them, so here you go. If you want the look, the H&M sunglasses, that's the way to go. Now we're gonna be talking about ballerina flats. Ballerinas are so in right now. I think that's the shoe of 2024. And I'm showing you my Chanel ballerinas that when I bought them, they were so painful, guys. Whoever is telling you that they're super nice, that they're like the best shoes ever, yes they are once that you break them in otherwise they are super painful you need to pay the price to get to the comfort level <laughs> on your feet so that's the situation with this ones and that's fine it's uh, they're made of leather obviously they're you need to break them in so that's the the thing they're true to size and obviously they're Chanel so this one's retail for almost $800 I am uh, looking for pre-love ones uh, why pre-love because somebody already went through the process of breaking the shoes <laughs> plus you can get a pre-love Chanel ballerinas for way less However, if you like the style and you don't want to break the bank, I know that Steve Madden has similar ballerinas as the Chanel ones. These ones have the black cap toe and they have the tan color. I believe that just the upper is the leather, the rest is just um, plastic but if you are willing to try the design i think and that's a good option another designer that makes ballerinas similar to the chanel ones is tori birch tori birch is a designer brand as well but you can find ballerinas for way less in comparison to the chanel ones and they're super cute they're leather and super high quality and they're less than the chanel flats all right, now that we're talking about shoes, everybody knows about the Chipre Hermes sandals. Those Hermes sandals retail for over a thousand dollars. I believe the price is a thousand and a hundred dollars. 
something like that so they're super in and they're almost impossible to get so if you want this style and uh, you are okay to get a shoe that has a similar design but it is not made of leather <laughs> I highly recommend the ones from Target Target has pretty similar shoes as the Hermes Chipre I bought these ones on my last trip to Target and I got these ones for $30 I tried them on it's not my vibe but I tried them on and I was like these are pretty comfortable to the point that I just bought them for when I go on vacation, wear them by the pool, to walk at the beach, to walk on the sand, and that type of situation. So I don't want to, to wear my leather sandals. I prefer to wear these black steel ones that they look pretty decent and they look pretty like like the Hermes ones but they're not these ones have this platform they're super soft guys like honestly they're super comfortable and then you can adjust here with this velcro like this I'm planning to wear these ones with my like tan top maxi dress that I bought at H&M or something like that that is very casual very um, minimalistic and yeah so for the price, thirty dollars in comparison to a thousand and a hundred dollars, I prefer to <laughs> to wear these ones. By the way, these ones uh, run small. My size is US seven and a half, and I got the size seven on these ones. Now, because we're talking about Hermes sandals i have a similar design as the hermes oran sandals these ones are the ones from target and i bought them same at the same trip that i bought the, the cheaper similar design sandals i bought these ones these ones they're pretty similar to the hermes oran sandals the only difference is that they're not made of leather they don't they're not high quality but they look pretty much the same these ones are just twenty dollars at target and they run true to size because my size is us seven and a half and i bought the size seven and a half on these ones they're pretty comfortable that's why i bought them and they have this cushion here which is nice and obviously i'm planning to wear this with um, dresses with my shorts and so on this is spring and summer i have not wear them because i just bought them so i can touch them from this open. my thing with the hermes orange sandals is that they're very loose they're very loose here so when i walk with them i just just throwing the sandals away <laughs> when i'm walking so i I cannot wear Hermes Oran sandals because they're too loose for me. That's why I bought the Hermes Santorini sandals. However, I was not wearing them. So what is the point to have this expensive shoe that I am afraid to wear? So Well, my Canon R50 decided to dial me. The battery is out. So now I'm using my Canon G7X which the sound is not the best however i just need to say goodbye to you <laughs> that's all what i have for this splurge and safe video hopefully you like it i just have few things few items please let me know in the description box below if you like this type of videos i really enjoy putting together all the information for you i know that in the past i i had done these type of videos and you enjoy them so please let me know if you like these type of videos in fact every time that you comment and like other comments uh, on the description not description in the comment section that helps my video a lot you have no idea i discovered that so please 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 if you like my content please help me uh, leave me a heart and like uh, the comments from the community here that we have that helps my video a lot
thank you so much <laughs> as always thank you so much for watching please don't forget to stop my, my blog thelittledirchan.com which i have not posted anything for a couple of weeks i need to go back and start writing for you but where i am super active is on my like to know it app if you're not if you're not following me over there i highly recommend that you follow me over there because you will have access to exclusive content from me i am posting between 10 to 10 times <laughs> per day <laughs> very crazy and then on top of that i am very active on my instagram so especially on weekends on weekdays it's a little bit difficult for me because as you know i work i work as an engineer on the weekdays and on weekends i work as a blogger i film my videos and i do all this kind of stuff as part of a saturday and sunday as always, thank you so much for watching and if you have more time and if you want to continue watching more of my videos, you can click here or here and I'll see you there. Okay guys, bye bye.